our journey begins. To the short man. And Alabama will put it in play around the 30 yard line. So a young man who grew up in Los Angeles, the fifth grade, moved to Texas. Played high school at a high school powerhouse, South Lake, Texas. About 26 miles northwest of downtown Dallas. Just 10 miles from DFW. Played in front of huge crowds, and that's one of the finest high school stadiums you'll ever see. And so here he comes with his PJ Fitzgerald, a four year starter back to punt. And here is Jordan Shiplett. He and Arenas are going to have one of the great duels returning punts here tonight if they get a chance. A pass, a fake, intercepted. Gideon pulls it down as Nick Saban. Goes way against his coaching philosophy and comes up with a Belichick move on the first drive of the game. Go figure. You can expect Texas, Herbie, you and I talked yeah. about this. They're going to come a little up tempo against this defense to try and keep Saban from over substituting. That, and they want to be the aggressor. Quick snap, quick throw. And I really think he underestimated the quickness and speed of Trey Newton on that play. Now the option look and Colt McCoy bangs into an offensive lineman who was being pushed back by Dederick. Brandon Dederick was in there and so too was Darius. Number 57 Darius big time defensive player for the Tide. Big there hit. he is. Yeah, big hit Marcel Darius in this football game against this kind of offense. Marcel Darius is the best Alabama defensive lineman as Colt far as hurt. hitting pressure. Colt is hurt. That means the untested freshman, that's Garrett Gilbert. He's right out of Austin. McCoy's on the sideline being tended to. They'll use a timeout to give him a little bit more time. They will come back and take a look at exactly what happened here. Didn't look all that serious, but we'll see. Looks of concern on that Texas sideline. Colt McCoy suffered a shoulder injury on that hit. And it means that the freshman, Garrett Gilbert, son of Gale, who played eight seasons in the National Football League, he's out of Austin. He has a great upside, but he's very inexperienced. And they bring around the end around for a first and goal at the one yard line. We're going to throw with Gilbert, and he'll throw it away. Fourth and goal, and now what does Mac Brown do? An 18-yard field goal puts Texas ahead after the turnover as McCoy will walk back to the locker room. New field. Saad was brought in from Palm Springs. Field was scraped right after the Rose Bowl victory by Ohio State over Oregon. And a brand new playing surface down here for Texas and Alabama. Tucker. Another short kickoff, keeping it away from the deep men. That's a live ball. Texas goes for it. They may have it. That's live. It has Longhorn football. Another Alabama mistake. That's a lot of confusion here and actually Julio Jones of course should come up and make the catch but I think he was expecting the up back to come back and make the catch himself because Julio Jones had so far to come to be able to make that catch Texas another opportunity deep in Alabama territory now they empty the backfield they're going to put it on third and five they're going to let Gilbert throw it it is dropped this is a 42 yarder Hit a 46 yarder against Nebraska to win it. Now the 42 yarder. And Texas builds a six point advantage. Running Ingram. First down, Bama. Power run. Got 
the first down. First man can't bring him down. Yards after contact continue to add up for the Heisman Trophy winner. Gets the carry, crosses the 10, powers ahead for another first down. It'll be a first and goal. Heisman Trophy ceremony. Mark was very emotional. Talked about his father as he dashes into the touchdown and gets one for dad. Well, Nick didn't know what to do, so he went to his girlfriend, who was then uh, not married to Mark, Shonda. And between the two of them, they kept an eye on Mark Sr. Hand off Richardson, bolts up the middle for the end zone. This could be a touchdown. Put it on the board for Bama. Whose daddy was a legend down Bama way. Dan Tiffin, who can forget that 52 yarder against Auburn. Lee tacks on. Fozzie Whitaker has checked in. Sprinting around end is Monroe to the outside. Monroe across the 35 yard line. Third and five. Gilbert under pressure and intercepted. Picked off by Arenas. Arenas kills the drive with the Alabama interception. Jones and Arenas are going to have good field position. On the fly from Arenas, McElroy and the Tide will start from the 29 yard line. 220 left here in the first half. Third and seven. Bootleg McElroy. He can run. Slide dives a little bit short. It is short of the first down, and now it is Saban who will have a decision to make. This is a 26 yard field goal. Saban says we'll take the points. Can't argue with that. 17 to 6, 23 on the board here in the first half. Here's Gilbert, that inside shuttle pass. And, incomplete. Uh, incomplete, or is it a fumble? Picked up by Darius. Darius in the air. Darius going for the end zone. That could be a touchdown if he's got it in the air. That's an interception and a touchdown. That was a shuttle pass, remember? And the way they're celebrating, you think in all the world that Marcel Darius, who knocked Colt McCoy out of the game, now the officials are going to huddle. Obviously, instant replay. We'll take a look at the replays upstairs and make sure. But if he caught it in the air without it hitting the ground, interception, touchdown, yeah. Alabama. His only play is an interception and a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike -like conduct, number 57 on the scoring team. The 15 yard penalty will be enforced with the kickoff. The dagger may have come out early. Tiffin tacks on another. Third and 25. The flare on the outside, the good one with that speed. Picked up a first down. So there is the young speedster from Garland, Texas. Third down and 12. Inside handoff. And ridden down is the young running back hit by big Lamar Houston. And that is the fifth sack of the night of McElroy. Kendall rolls in. But consider, let's not take anything away from this Bama group. This is a sensational defense. There's good money speed. That's who they must use the rest of the way because of his breakout speed. Second down and ten. Gilbert going deep down the middle. Got a man. Got Chipley. Touchdown, Texas! 44 yards. Gilbert to Shipley who shook Arenas. Knocks it in. How big 
is that play at the end of the first half right now when you look at this score that was intercepted on the shovel pass and taken in for an Alabama touchdown. That play will haunt. Now they get the onside kick and they dive for it. Texas. No quitting the horns. No, this, let's give a lot of credit to the Texas defense. I said it in the first series to start this second half, that they did everything that they needed to do. As the young quarterback in the offense was struggling, they kept Alabama's offense pinned back inside their own 20-yard line until eventually the Gilbert makes a play to Shipley to get a little bit of momentum going. And then on special teams, they catch a break. And again, great field position for Gilbert. And now he's got a little bit of confidence. And more importantly, the players around him have confidence too. Bama shows blitz on third down. Got one on one far side incomplete. Play fake on first down. McElroy going to go deep for Mays. Mays penalty flag. The field judge called the flag. One of those underthrown balls, I believe. Pass interference. I'm rating the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic Here's Tiffin with a 52 yard attempt. Missed it. He's got to hurry. Got it off. And fires a beautiful ball to Shipley for a first down. He is split out to the left as they spread the field. Gilbert got a man open. Touchdown, Texas. Shipley's second of the night. A freshman growing up before your eyes. 28 more yards. Middle. Got it. Complete. Buckner. Ingram bounces outside. You can't bring him around down on the ground alone. You need help. Gilbert fumble. Ball's loose. Bama's got it. At the three yard line. The defense for the Crimson Tide. Great time to call the blitz. Eric Anders comes off the left, left edge of the offense, the blind side. And just when I said they haven't given up a sack, Alabama dials up the blitz, and Anders makes it home, his sixth sack of the year. Upshaw recovers it. Cody leads Ingram. Ingram battles second effort. Touchdown. His second of the night. So here's Tiffin. Fitzgerald will put it down. Tacks on another point. Three great quarterbacks. Now, now think about what happened. Sam Bradford injured against BYU. Knocked out by Texas down there as we watch this play unfold with Gilbert. And it's intercepted at the 30-yard line. They get down. The clock will continue to run. That championship trophy is headed back to Tusk Calusa. McElroy comes back to Los Angeles. Richardson barges into the end zone, his second of the night. I mean, they got him with emphasis. That was actually that felt good. That After might all have been, those rules. That was with emphasis. There, was there contact there? I mean, that wasn't just Gatorade. No, that was some plastic. We're, we're coming after I mean, this. This is guy. getting a little physical here, boys. <laughs> We've had enough of his rules. <laughs> Bang! We rule. that left ear field. We Woo! rule right now. That's taking Gatorade shower to a different <laughs> level there. He that's turned one, right into that baby. That's one of the all-time best. Oh, that's man. for faking the punt early. It's all said and done. Oh, Tiffin hit the upright. No good. Mm -hmm. 
That'll do it. Crimson Tide wins the national championship. The Bear would be proud.